Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with your favorite part of the week, my picks for the NFL slate for the coming week. And a bit of a recap of last week. Now, as you remember, in week one, I was eight and eight. Well, this week I was considerably better. I went 12 and four this week. <coughs> yes, I did. Pretty much. And if it had not been for me picking the Bears to lose to the Giants, which I had a slight feeling they might, that they probably would beat the Giants, but again, it's the Bears. You know, here's the thing about the Bears. The Bears are always going to have to play a close, low-scoring game to win. So, that's foreshadowing of this week's game. So, anyway, um... So yeah, I went 12 and 4 and that puts me at 20 and uh, 20 and 12 on the year. Nice. So, um, yeah. It was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. So, uh, yeah, and last week they had a lot of great games. I mean, there were some real exciting games last week. So, let's get into this week's games, and then we will be talking about what the various teams did in um, in week two um, as I get to them. And also, we're going to have a new feature this week, as I told you in an earlier video. You might want to go back and check that out. I think it's the last video I put up. Um, we are actually going to talk about locks and, um, you know, what game I think is a lock and what game I think is an upset special. And I'm also going to go over a little bonus feature near the end, or at the end, where I talk about what teams are burning me so far and to what degree. So, and early in the season, of course, it's not terrible for anybody, but um, as the season progresses, it could get that way, right? All right, so we've got a Thursday night game this week, and that Thursday night game is going to be the Dolphins at the Jaguars. And you know what team I'm picking here? I'm picking the Jags. Oh, yeah, picking the Jags, baby. Uh, now, the the Jaguars, well, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that yet. and We'll get into that later. But, yes, we are picking the Jaguars to beat Miami. Now, the Jaguars are a team that, I mean, those boys never give up. I think they got a chip on their shoulder because everybody came into this season saying that the Jaguars were um, tanking. And I think that the players on the team took notable exception to that. And so... They don't want that hung around their neck, and they played really well in the first two weeks. And I am going to say that, yeah, yeah, they're, the Jags are going to beat the Dolphins, even though the Dolphins did show a little life uh, last week. But as we know, the, the uh, Jaguars, well, the Jaguars lost last week. Oh, the, uh, no, I picked the Titans, actually, and the Titans did beat them 33-30. So that was a close game. Um, and I guess especially against the Titans, who are supposed to be pretty good. So that brings us to Sunday. Now we're starting the Sunday games. So that was the Thursday game. And the first Sunday game I got for you is the Redskins and the Cleveland Browns. And in this game, yes, I don't like Baker Mayfield, but I am going with the Browns in this game. Get the Redskins out of here. So, yeah, we're, we're going to go that way. Um, the Redskins really looked haphazard and really just bad against the Cardinals. And the uh, Browns were 
good. I mean, they almost, they could have lost to the Bengals. That game was 35-30. But, um, but they did put up a lot of points. And I, you know, I was going to give Washington, the Washington Football Club, credit for being a little better defensively than I think they really actually are. Um, after week one, because week one they looked great defensively against the Eagles. It was stellar, but now it isn't so much. So, there is that. Now, the next game we've got for you is the uh, Rams at the Bills. And in this game, I'm taking the Rams. Now, I came into this season thinking the Rams, no, they're not that great, but... You know what? I think they look really good so far. And the Bills, you know what? The Bills looked a little shakier than they should have last week against the Dolphins. I mean, I said in my in my week two picks video that if the Bills expect to be the AFC East champions, they better beat the Dolphins. Well, they barely did that. So I'm going to go with the Rams in that game. Now, the next game we've got is the Titans at the Vikings. And in this game, yeah, let's go with the Titans because <laughs> the Vikings are horrible. You can't handle the truth. I mean, they really are. I even had, there's a friend of mine who's a Vikings fan. And he even texted me and said the Vikings suck. So I said, yeah, tell me something I don't know. But, um, yeah, they're, they're bad. And until they can right the ship, you know, I'm not picking. I'm not picking them. So now we've got the, um, we got a, a matchup here, which is a, uh, a rematch of Super Bowl III. The Indianapolis Colts, although they were Baltimore at the time, and they are going to the, um, well, the Jets are going to the Colts. So I am going to pick in this one the Indianapolis Colts. Go with the Colts in this one. The Jets, you know, where's my garbage can? Yeah. The Jets are in complete disarray. They have a bad coach. They have a team that's not that great. Dare I say it bad? No. So now the next game we have is the... Um, let me get the face guard on here a little better. Um, we have the Lions at the Cardinals. And in this one... I think if you've been watching football, you know you got to go with the Cardinals on this one. The Lions, they seem to get off to a nice lead on people, and then they just blow that lead, and that's exactly what they did against the Bears, and that's exactly what they did against the Packers last week. So, we are going to put the Lions in the garbage can, and that's where they're going. Yeah, the Cardinals and the guard, the Cardinals, I, you know, I thought they were an up-and-coming team. But it turns out they're at the door. They're knocking. They're about to knock the door in. That's how good the Cardinals are. So, and with the 49ers slipping, who knows? Maybe the Cardinals win that division. Maybe? I don't know. But they're good. So now we've got the, uh, the next game on the slate is the um, Packers at the Saints. And in this one... Go with the pack. The Packers, in the first two weeks, have scored um, 80 points. I think they've scored over 80 points in the first two weeks and have uh, 1,000 yards of offense in the first two weeks. The Saints, <laughs> well, they were supposed to beat the uh, Raiders, and they didn't. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they something just looks off with the Saints. I mean, they beat the Buccaneers week one, but if it hadn't been for some real mistakes that were made by Brady in that game, 
the Saints might be 0-2 right now instead of 1-1. Now, the next game we've got is the 49ers at the Giants. And in this one, I'm going with the Giants. Because if you know what is going on in football right now, you know, first of all, the Giants are the home team. Okay. Second is that San Francisco has so many injuries that they're, they're sending their taxi squad out to play football games now. So, um, they, you know, and that's not good. And the Giants, although I predicted them to beat the Bears and they didn't, they almost came back and, and went ahead and won that game. Almost. They didn't quite. No, they didn't. But it was a close game. It was 17, I think it was 17-14. So, you know. If they can play that well against the Bears, and, and I thought they played fairly well against the Steelers in week one, then, you know, they're going to beat um, a San Francisco team that's right now beat up and reeling. And now we've got the Bengals at the Eagles. And yeah, we're going to go with the Bengals again. This is the third straight week that I picked the Bengals. And, uh... They didn't win in the first two. But the Eagles, yeah, they're garbage can material. So, um, yeah, I mean, they can't beat anybody. And the teams, well, first of all, we have to find a team that they can beat, and we haven't done that yet. But whenever we find that team, that team is going to be a team that's in the hurt locker. So, yeah, the uh, Eagles, I don't know, maybe they want to bring that rookie guy, put him in right now. I forget the guy's name, but, um, yeah, they got some rookie to back up uh, Wentz. And uh, Wentz might want to back up and let the guy that they just drafted take take the spot. So, all right, so the next one we've got, you know it, you knew it was coming. It was coming sooner or later, right? We got the Bears at the Falcons. And guess who I'm going with? I'm going with the Falcons, baby. Yeah. Take the Falcons in that one. Um, a lot of reasons for that. For that. Uh, the first reason is that I picked against the Bears the first two weeks and they're 2-0. and So now I'm just going to keep it going. I'm picking against the Bears every week until they actually do lose. So, um, because, you know, maybe if I pick against them 16 straight weeks, who knows? Maybe they go 16-0. and 0. But, on a more practical level, the Bears, as I said in my opening, they, for them to win the way it looks, for them to win, they have to play a relatively low-scoring, close football game. Now, the Falcons... The Falcons scored 39 points last week, and they should have beaten Dallas, except that when Dallas did their onside kick, the Falcons all stood around looking at the ball like it was a hot potato. Um, but if somebody had just jumped in there and gotten on the ball, which they had plenty of opportunity to do, um, they, uh, they would have won that game. So they scored 39 points. And this, here's an interesting stat. Coming into last week's games, since 1990, teams that scored 39 points in a game and didn't turn the ball over were 450 and 0. The Falcons made that 450 and 1. They have, they're the only team since 1990 in a single game to score 39 points or more and not turn the ball over and lose the game. So, uh, yeah, that, that comes from the Department of Interesting Statistics, just so you know. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit. Remember when I said that the Giants were going to beat the 49ers? I'm going to say that that's my upset special of the week, just because I don't have a better contender for upset special of the week. So, Put that into the banks too. 
the 49ers are generally the better team when they're healthy or somewhat healthy. But this week I think they'll lose, but I'm still, you know, because they have a lot of injuries. But even though they have injuries, you would say, well, hey, sportsman, if they have a lot of injuries, is that really an upset? And I mean, I just don't have a better option. So that's why I'm saying they're the upset special. So now let's go to the um, the Texans at the Steelers. And uh, this one, you know what? I know the Steelers are home, but I'm going with the Texans. I think the Texans are generally a better team. The Steelers have played well the first two weeks, but... Um, you know, they haven't really faced any stiff competition. They uh, The first week they, they played the Giants, who really have not arrived yet. And in week two, they, uh, they beat up on the Broncos, and the Broncos had to bring in their second-string quarterback, who had never played, ever, in his life. So, and even then, it was a close game. I mean, it was a close game to a quarterback who has never played in a live NFL game. So, yeah, I'm, I think you got to go to the Texans there. Uh, the next one we've got is the Panthers at the Chargers. And in this one, I'm going with the Chargers because the Chargers have been impressive. And not only have they been impressive, and by the way, get Carolina out of here. Um, not only ha have the Chargers been impressive, but they had to press their newly drafted quarterback Bear or Herbert or however you pronounce his last name into action the guy that they just drafted from I think he was on um, the uh, I think he was on the Ducks the Doug I forget what university but anyway the green with the big O with the big yellow O I think that's where he was from so anyway, yeah, but that guy is good. He's another young quarterback, just like the group of young quarterbacks, the other young quarterbacks, like, um, you know, Kyler Murray and, um, well, you know who they are. I don't have to go down the list. They, um, But he is like another one of those guys. Oh, yeah, and uh, Burrow. He's in a Burrow class. I mean, he's, he's good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Chargers there. Um, we don't know if Tyrod Taylor will be back. The coach has said that Tyrod Taylor will play when he comes back, but he may change his mind on that. We'll see. But I'm still going to go with, the, I'm still pretty confident in going with the Chargers in that game, even if Tyrod Taylor plays. So now we've got the Cowboys and the Seahawks. Now the Cowboys, I know I have told you that they haven't, habit of nipping me in the butt and they do especially last year they did it a lot um, and they are at the Seahawks but I'm going with the Seahawks now I know yes Dallas pulled off an impressive win for me last year uh, last week recovering an onside kick that they had no business recovering <coughs> excuse me and um and beating the uh, Atlanta Falcons when they had no business beating the Falcons. So, uh, yeah, but still, you got to go to the Seahawks. The Seahawks are just the hottest team on the planet. They came back and they, they well, actually, they didn't have to come back. It was the Patriots that almost came back on them. But the Patriots did not come back on them. So, um, you know what? I, don't, I didn't see a Patriots game out here. Um, we have the Bucks at the Broncos, and uh, yeah, the Buccaneers. I'm gonna go with the Buccaneers because you got the uh, the Broncos. Drew Locke is injured; he's probably out. The backup Driscoll, he looked okay, but you know the Broncos just have too many injuries. I think to beat a team with a veteran like um, like Brady running the show it's a really big show and a really big show and uh yeah the, you know what there is a patriots game this week 
And that's this matchup right here. Now, I am going to go with the Patriots on this one. I don't know how I missed this one. Well, I missed this one because the helmets weren't laid out for me. But anyway, uh, yeah. I'm going with the Patriots. The uh, Raiders looked very impressive. And really, in the first two weeks, they've looked pretty impressive. But they're not going to beat the Patriots. I don't think so. I think the Patriots are too good. They're just too good for the Raiders. Even Mike uh, Florio on uh, um, Pro Football Talk says that. Not that I follow his advice, but those are my picks, and I am sticking to them. Now, I also promised you I'm going to tell you how what teams have been burning me and how badly this year. So we're only going to go over the teams that are Owen that I'm Owen to in the games that I picked, or one and one. The teams that are two and zero, oh, they're not burning me at all. So, and bear in mind, this doesn't mean that they lost and I picked them to win, or that they won and I picked. Well, actually, yes, that's exactly what it means. It means that they did the opposite of what I thought they were going to do. So, we have. Uh, Five teams that are 0 and 2. The Bears are one of them. They're 2 and 0 in real life, but I picked them to lose both times. So they're 0, I'm 0 and 2 with them. I'm 0 and 2 with the Colts. I'm 0 and 2 with the Bengals. I'm 0 and 2 with the Vikings, and I'm 0 and 2 with the Giants. Hoping that improves with all of those teams. Now, with the Saints, Raiders, Chargers, Packers, Jaguars, Broncos, 49ers, Cowboys, Rams, and Browns, I am 1-1 one one with all those teams. And if you did not hear your team called, that means that that team has done exactly what I thought they were going to do in both of the first two weeks. So, that's where we are on that. So, how did you guys like those picks? Do you agree with me? Um... Is there some dissension out there? How do you like my Bears strategy? I mean, if you're a Bears fan, you know, you probably have mixed feelings if you're a Bears fan because you're saying, dude, you're a Bears fan and you're picking them to lose. And now you're just picking them to lose because you think that there's some kind of superstitious thing you've got over them where if you pick them to lose, they're going to win. Well, right. And let's just see if that happens. May not. May not happen at all, but it might. So, um, that is, that's my picks for the week. That's how I see it. And uh, let's see if I can bring down another 12 and 4 or maybe even 13 and 3 week, which I almost had. But for right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, with my week three picks, signing off.